Despite Hurricane Irma's track change, many poor St. Lucie residents checked into local shelters for safety, leaving their homes and possessions behind. What made you decide to come to the shelter? Well, because family was concerned about us, of what it was going to be like if we stayed at home. And we got texts and we got calls and worried about our security and that we should leave. And part of me, I didn't want to leave because it's our home and our own bed and everything else. Poor St. Lucie has nine shelters available, including designated special needs and pet-friendly centers located in Fort Pierce. I think the shelter is very nice and the people are wonderful here. I got here about, uh, must have been about, about 11 o'clock. Today? Yes. Okay. And how long do you think you're planning on staying? I would imagine we'd probably stay till Monday morning, maybe. Okay. You know. Yeah. yeah. School principals and staff members are being utilized to work the locations on 12-hour rotating shifts with one priority in mind, keeping our community members safe from the storm. All of our community members are coming together as one. We work together, we're a team together. You have several volunteers from the Red Cross that are here as well. We have, like I said, you know, myself as a school-based administrator and all of our other administrators. Um, different school sites have different um, teachers that are volunteering as well. And it's all coming together as one in a time of need. So it's, it's nice to know that we are here all together and that um, we're gonna weather the storm and that um, all of us can work together to help the community when they need it. As of 8 a.m. Sunday morning, 2,305 citizens were occupying a shelter in PSL. We are not turning anyone away. Um, if they make it to our door, we will allow them in. We will find a place for them and to keep them safe. And hopefully we will make, we'll make it through this. The City of Port St. Lucie wants to thank residents for their cooperation and vigilance during this crucial time. For more information on shelters, please call 772-460-HELP.